Introduction Everyone can benefit from the true meaning and philosophical teachings of Stoicism. Having the ability to choose how you react and respond can alleviate anxious and depressive symptoms. The Stoic way of thinking allows you to thoughtfully process and accept situations while giving you the power to choose how you react, handle, and cope. Stoicism allows you to control what you can and let go of what you cannot. It helps you to choose your attitude, to live in the moment, and make sense of your circumstances. Living a more stoic life will give you the opportunity to live a mentally healthier, more balanced, and overall happier life. The carefully curated quotations compiled here are wonderful tenets to live by and help illustrate specific lessons to improve yourself. We, the authors, have embarked on this exploration of Stoic philosophy in our writings and in our daily professions, where we assist individuals on their journeys of personal growth and recovery. We understand that this odyssey of continued self-education and improvement begins with you. All of us understand that Stoicism is one of the many tools you can use to help quell the suffering, to have a better understanding of yourself and improve your approach to living. A Stoic Life Simply defined, Stoicism is the endurance of pain or hardship, without display of feelings and without complaint. Stoicism is a human response to challenge made possible by the fact that we are not merely the byproducts of our circumstances. We are all thinking, self-actualizing beings who have the ability to selectively influence our emotional responses, which in turn shapes how we view the world, ourselves, and others. Stoicism is known as an eudaimonistic theory from the Greek eudaimonia, roughly meaning happiness or flourishing. This is meant to be the culmination of human endeavor, or end, telos, which the Stoics defined as living in agreement with nature. Nature is itself a complex and multivalent concept for the Stoics, which in turn means their definition of the goal or final end of human striving is very rich. For example, their idea of living in agreement with nature can also be explained as taking a deeper look into those situations that you can control and those which you cannot. Realizing the need to let go of what you can't control and accepting the facts rather than fighting results in a more harmonious, balanced, and thoughtful life. In modern times, living in agreement with nature means making a conscious effort to make the best of a given situation while being at peace with what you cannot change. Behavior. When you hear the phrase kind behavior and expressions of gratitude, you will most likely think of being kind to others and expressing your gratitude for others. While this is extremely useful and beneficial, it is equally important to be kind to yourself and show gratitude to yourself. Numerous studies have shown the positive impact kindness and gratitude have on your mental well-being and quality of life. Activities like keeping a gratitude journal and practicing random acts of kindness help you remember the good in life and help you reflect on positive situations and experiences. Strive to combat criticism with kindness and take control of your life's situation. Kindness and gratitude are always options and you have the choice to demonstrate both. True strength is to be found in kindness, so begin and end each day by identifying one thing for which you are grateful. It's a simple act that produces significant benefits. Mindset. Mind over matter is a powerful expression. Your ability to consciously control your mindset is what makes you mentally tough and ready for life's challenges. The secret to achieving this resilient state lies in taking control of your thoughts and allowing your thoughts to control your behaviors, not the other way around. Your ability to take control of your emotional responses 
and live a Stoic-inspired life is the secret to success, to your happiness, and to your improved well-being. When you are able to see situations as opportunities and emotional responses as conscious choices, when you realize things don't happen to you but rather with you, your outlook completely changes. How you see your situation affects and influences how you feel about that situation. You are not merely a byproduct of your circumstances. You are a choosing being who has the ability to determine your emotional responses, which in turn shapes how you view the world, yourselves, and others. But learning to change your perspectives takes practice. Practice which will in turn help increase your self-confidence. By practicing cognitive restructuring, you can retrain your brain and create new habits that will make you the master of any situation. When choosing how you feel and react becomes your choice, you will feel more in control. Toxicity. Toxicity refers to the quality of being very harmful or unpleasant to oneself. Toxic emotions and the manifestations of certain behaviors can be found in almost every aspect of your life, but only if you allow it. The teachings of the great Stoics emphasize the notion of accepting what you cannot control. By living the Stoic life, you are in total control of your own mental hygiene. You have the choice to limit the amount of destructive behaviors within you and the amount you inflict onto others. This makes you responsible for your own toxicity. The harmfulness can significantly impact your daily functioning and the regulation of your moods and emotions. You must identify the origin, acknowledge, and then accept that you have the power to change. Remind yourself that allowing toxicity to live within you relinquishes control over your own life and well-being. Choose to live a toxic-free lifestyle and let the great Stoics be your guide. Mortality. While mortality may at first seem like a negative topic, it should instead be seen as a chance to embrace life, be grateful for what you have, and come to terms with the fact that nothing is forever. The idea of mortality as an ending point should be looked at in a positive manner. Time is finite. For this reason, it should be viewed as a precious resource. Learning to rethink mortality is a perfect example about the stoic practice of changing your mindset, expressing gratitude and accepting and living in agreement with your circumstances. Acceptance of your mortality will allow you to live each day to the fullest and appreciate each moment. Since mortality is something you cannot control in most circumstances, you must learn to view it with a new perspective and allow that new perspective to enrich your life, not hinder it. Acceptance and acknowledgement of what is to come and fully appreciating being in the present will allow you to live a more mindful and purposeful life. Always accept reality, reasoning. Pierre Hadot said it best when he stated, what defined a Stoic above all else was the choice of a life in which every thought, every desire, and every action would be guided by no other law than that of universal reason. Your well-being is based on living in accordance with this universal reason, as it is what creates a life of balance and virtue. This understanding of reason is what guides the Stoic in everyday decisions and actions. Reason is what allows you to understand perspectives and situations. It's what determines, through thoughtful processing, how you want to respond. Reason is what gives you the ability to actively chose your response to situations and allows you to gain a sense of control over your cognition and emotions. When you live by reason, you will live a life of less resistance, a happier life, and one where you feel more in control by acknowledging what you cannot control. It is through reasoning that you become a master of your life and reach your ultimate well-being. Reason is what helps you achieve a higher understanding of nature, yourself, 
and to live a more ethical life. Failure. Failure is an expected part of life. It's how you deal with these setbacks that determines how they will affect you. The key to living a stoic life is to find the successes in the midst of failure, the silver linings in a setback. It's your perspective that makes a situation either positive or negative. Whether or not you can see the good in experiences, while understanding and accepting the situation, is what will ultimately make you a stronger person. Instead of allowing detrimental situations to define you and your attitude, you must realize that as a human being, you have the ability to choose how you respond to situations and that the way in which you perceive these challenges has a tremendous effect on the quality of your life. Anyone who has suffered a great trauma knows firsthand that you cannot control or change what has happened, but you can control how you cope with the incident. Oftentimes, individuals who have been through the greatest challenges have markedly more positive outlooks than those whose lives have been comparatively easy. The goal of a life well lived is not to eliminate failure, but rather to use our failures as information and gain an understanding as to why we failed, what went wrong. When you can do that, you can alter your viewpoint, which will make it easier for you to choose how you respond in the future. Being stoic does not mean you don't feel. It simply means you are accepting your failure and choosing how to react in a way that will benefit you, rather than hinder you. Acceptance is a vital part in making the most out of your situations. Nature. The Stoic's ultimate goal is to live in accordance with nature, to be one with nature and live harmoniously, to appreciate and gain an understanding of your place in the world, to practice your ability to see things greater than yourself and live a virtuous life. Living according to nature is living your best life. Living your best life is done by maximizing your potential, by recognizing the difference between what you can control and what is out of your control. You must be honest with yourself and others and be willing to seek the truth in every circumstance. By doing so, you must also see challenges as a way to progress and not as a setback. Seek to find the good in every situation and use it as a teaching tool. Let nature be your guiding force and your moral compass on your positive pathway in life. Rules for Living The Stoics' basic rules of living emphasize the importance of viewing yourself and the world objectively while living in acceptance with nature. To view the world objectively allows you to see situations free from personal emotions and subjectivity. Another basic rule is to not allow yourself to be controlled by external circumstances but instead to focus on what you can control while being fully in the present moment. Do not allow yourself to think too far into the future or ruminate too much about the past. Stoic living results in a life of resilience, confidence and calmness. These three qualities can help in every aspect of life and in any situation. Put into practice the Stoic rules for living and you will be on your way to a more balanced sense of well-being. Remember the why and purpose of the things you do, and let that direct you to reaching your full potential. Mastery. Self-mastery is a vital component of freedom. If you do not have mastery over yourself, you will never be truly free from conflict, dilemma, or self-doubt. Freedom and self-mastery allow you to be self-determining, which in turn empowers you to be the master of your own life, your own journey, and your own destiny. The skill of mastery gives you the ability to control your emotions, your perspectives, and your reactions, while self-mastery makes it capable for you to determine your own actions and not allow external actions to control you. Learning how to be a master of your emotions, 
frees you from negative mood dysregulation while increasing your ability to better manage your reactions and coping strategies. Self-mastery is seen as the final goal in living a stoic life. To have mastery over yourself is to truly know and accept the things you can and cannot control. Like, share, and subscribe for more daily wisdom. Thank you. I believe in you, friend. Stay humble and keep growing. Stoistica.